And now I what the, what is this? This is so good. It's a. Uh, I can't even pronounce this. But it's a. It's Frank Conchova Madra. Uh, oh, this is the stuff from Doug Frankovka. Margarine. Frankovka. From Vankovka. Yeah, from Margarine. Slovakia. Right. I remember this wine. This is so good. But this is the. This is from the. Um, I'm pretty sure this is from what's it called? The uh, uh, Todd English defunct club. Oh. Who brought this Margarine? Yeah, it is. So, folks, we are the benefactors of, I think, very well curated wines. In fact, the Bordeaux is from the same place. Uh, you know, the Me Too movement got to the famous chef Todd English, who had a club, but they never launched it. And of course, when they didn't launch the club, they needed a place to put the wines they had already bought, curated, and resourced. And we were the great recipients of that opportunity to put wines in this club at a price range uh, that's affordable. I think this is really fun. Is Slovakian or Slovakian? <laughs> Well, Slovenia or Slovakia? No, Slovakia. Slovakia. Oh, yeah, Slovakia. Which is the birthplace of, of modern wine, you know. Mm. So, I'm waiting. Slovakia was the birthplace of modern wine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm still waiting. <laughs> mm. I love this. The wines are really delicious. You the, know? Adri- the acid before the, the fruit before the finish is just wonderful. Spice, the finish is long and lingering and, and drying. This, but it's got to be indigenous grapes, right? Yeah, it is. But it, what's really interesting is this tastes like Bordeaux to me. It kind of has it, a it has that sort that. of mo- little marzipan component yeah, in there. I you agree. know, roasted almonds. Souchet must be dry. I mean, I would think this would be like a San Julian, except it's a little more authoritative in no, the mouth. That, there's something in the nose that says, no, it's not Bordeaux, but it's... Well, there's something in the nose that says it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so there. Mm. That's a delicious wine. I mean, you know, I, hard to say what it's worth. Nineteen ninety nine on the shelf. But another one of those deals where it's like, we know it's not Merlot, we know it's not Cabernet, but it's something else. Yeah, it's something else. else. Yeah, well, it's Slovakian, obviously. And, <laughs> and I've tasted a lot of indigenous wines from other countries of the world, like Armenian wines and... Turkish wines, and this is, you know, this is uniquely um, getting up in the level of just really good, quaff, not quaffable, but drinkable, world-class wine. I, oh, absolutely. So for them to source something like this, to me, is fascinating, because it's not that easy. When I went to New York a couple of Mondays ago to taste wines that were not in America, at the leading wines of the world tasting, I tasted a lot of Moldavian, a lot of uh, uh, Macedonian wines, which were very good, but they were all French varietals. Right. And this is not... Well, at fourteen ninety nine pre order price, I'm at a ninety five, mm-hmm. um, and I love tasting wines from these areas because you never see them. You never, you know. 